Folks, we are here in Savannah, Georgia, here at the Thunderbird Inn. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna check in. You guys ready? Ready, yes. Let's do Let's this. Every single time we come to Savannah, we always find ourselves here at the Thunderbird Inn. They're about classic here, and they're also about moon pies. And we just check in and our room is 202. And we're in room 202 on the second floor. If you've been watching our channel long enough, you've probably seen a video of this place in the past. We've done two reviews on it, so this is the third time. But this is your guys' first time staying here. It's very retro, yes. isn't it? Very, very retro, yeah. <laughs> So you have this little seating area. It's got some, I don't know, I guess it's 1950s style chairs. And they have RC Colas to greet you with moon pies next to the pillows. Everybody gets their own moon pies because this is the South. And the South is known for RC Cola and moon pies. And moon pies. So go ahead, Dawn, give us a little tour, a little quick tour. We've never had, as far as I know, I don't think we've ever had two queens. We've got two queens because we have well, two yeah. for Yeah, so we usually get the king. <laughs> we've got two queen beds, nightstands, table lamps, and we got like a big desk, but I don't see a chair for it. No, we can use one of the, you can use one of the ones over here. Oh yeah, the beds look super comfy. There's no carpeting. It smells... It smells like bleach. It, it smells, smells clean. clean it does smell clean. Yeah, and there's a moon pie over there. That moon pie's for for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you got the TV and there's a little book on Savannah, right? A little bit of history. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. The Thunderbird ice bucket. Oh wow, so you they got some glasses. They actually have the symbol. I remember that from last time. The, sim the symbol on everything. And take a look at that lampshade. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely screaming, you know, the 50s, 60s. So it's got a refrigerator. Yep. You know. Oh, yeah. Keep things cold. If you want coffee, you can have coffee. In-room coffee. Air conditioner. Moisturizing soap. Oh, it's even got their their yeah. logo on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some towels. Looks like lotion. So this here is bath gel. I think it's for your hands though. Bath gel. It should be in here then. And here's the bathroom. Oh. A nice big walk-in shower. Yeah, I like that. And you got your shampoo, conditioner, shampoo, conditioner, and bath gel. Oh, yeah. I like the tile on the floor. Yet again, that classic mm -hmm. look that I like, and that's the reason why we stay here. And the biggest reason why we stay here, because it's clean. It's super clean. It's always, uh, it's also walking distance to downtown Savannah. And it smells so nice and clean in here. You can smell the bleach. This is cool. It shows everything that's going on here. It's clean. It smells good. It'll do for one night. Yeah, just one night. We're passing yeah. through on our way to Florida. And Sierra's excited. This is cool. Yeah, these are all downtown. You Ooh, can walk around and see walk. that. So we'll, we'll do a little walk. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at 
this one. We'll take as much as we can in one evening. <laughs> this is definitely old school. They have the light switch. As soon as you, you open the door, that's... I remember that as a kid. I absolutely love this little retro motel. Of course, they're playing some Elvis as we speak. They have, whoop. <laughs> they also have popcorn, complimentary popcorn. And I love popcorn. There's the Thunderbird Motel down there. I brought my jacket because it's supposed to, woo. <laughs> it, they are, uh, it's supposed to get cold tonight. And there is a little bit of a walk down this way. So my mom wanted to see the Independent Presbyterian Church. And if you watch the movie Forrest Gump, the scene with the feather would have floated right by here. And the bench is located just, just over there. So this is where the bench would have sat right here and they built it just for the movie and this is where Forrest Gump would have sat and this would have been this was the background behind Forrest Gump right because Forrest would be sitting right here and that was the background this is what Forrest would have seen waiting for the bus and the feather flew over the top of that steeple over there and you can clearly see the building, that, that scalloping. And the feather would have landed on a, like a fender of a car and then eventually end up here on, on his foot. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quite the popular spot. Folks have been coming and going. Yeah. And this is the famous backdrop. You can see clearly behind them the statue here. Of course, I love the moss hanging from the trees. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, just beautiful. They got some other pink ones. Oh, wow, yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, everything's blooming here in Savannah. Just think, that's where the famous saying, life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Just over there, pretty cool. Live on stage, the Jersey Boys. The music of Frankie of Valley. Uh, Savannah Theater. I love this this old theater. I've got many of photos of me standing in front of that that ticket booth over there. Yeah, old school, huh? Yeah, the architecture yeah. is just amazing. Beautiful. Definitely true southern, you know, feel. The south. The south, yeah. Kind of reminds you of like Gone with the Wind yeah. and stuff, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. One ticket for a matinee, please. Pretty cool. So what do you think about Savannah so far? Movie history? History in general? Now they've got the Forrest Gump stuff out of the way. Let's go see Savannah, right? This is the birthplace of Juliet Lowe. She's the founder of the Girl Scouts of America. Yeah. This house right here. And it, I believe it's a Girl Scouts museum. And that's Juliet Lowe there. Here in the courtyard. Oh, even a hitching post. As we're walking closer to the riverfront, we're going through all these different squares. And this one here is called Wright Square. There's different monuments. 
in each each square so this is Washington Square of course there's a great big and a monument to no other than George Washington and the customs building is straight ahead which means the riverfront is coming so Washington Southern tour in 1791 President George Washington attended services at the original Christ Church on Sunday May the 15th while in Savannah from May the 12th through the 15th I so, got a penny. so there's a fountain we have a penny make a wish toss it over your back right what's your wish I'm not gonna tell you if I tell you then it won't come true the Sun is starting to set and you know what that means ghost <laughs> yes so Savannah is one of the most hauntedest places in America pretty much any old city claims to be the most hauntedest place don't they mm -hmm. like like St. Augustine also claims to be the haunted most haunted and and that Jeep is plugged in that's weird to see An electric Jeep so this is a storeroom by any other name. It used to be old, or they used to store things they brought off the ships, maybe coming from England or France or wherever the, the ships were coming from the time. Indies. A lot of these stones came all the way from England. They were ballast in the ships. And when they sailed here, they would, you know, they would dump their ballast and then they would use this to pave the streets and the riverfront. A must, must visit when you're here. Looks like the Georgia Queen just, just landed. <laughs> head over to River Street Sweets candy store but I love the feel of Savannah the streets oh wow <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. There you go. Thank you. Oh, wow. Look at that. The world famous praline. Mm. Amazing. Those are the biggest candied apples I have ever seen. They're, they're a size of a, a softball. <laughs> M&M's, Reese's Pieces. Oh, and the smell here is absolutely amazing. And they're known for their praline here, and it is really, really good. Ah, it's good, isn't it? And these Rice Krispie treats are awesome. They're like the, the biggest ones I've ever seen. Everything's big here. And I got the chocolate covered strawberries. Did you try the the praline? Yes. Oh, it's it is good, isn't it? Yeah. And the smell is like just overwhelming, you know. Savannah's original candy store. Great atmosphere. The coldest, cheapest beer in town. And all kinds of T-shirts. Savannah bananas and you can have you can have dinner right here on the street and the historic steps those are 
a big, big pain <laughs> to climb. I mean, the step in between is about twice as tall as any other step. You want to climb the historic steps? Not really. And even though we've been to Savannah many of times, I don't have a pin. Now I do. There's one for you, a big dum dum. A big dum dum. She's beat me again, Dawn. Oh wow, those yeah. cones do look good. Yeah. yeah, everything for a sweet tooth. Yeah. Wet Willie. We walked all the way to the other end to see the waiting girl. This is Florence Martis, and she's Savannah's waiting girl and she used to come down here and wave wave to all the passing ships coming down the river here down the waterfront well, and she did it from 1869 to 1943 wow she she was waving for a long time oh there goes a boat 1869 to 1943. She, she pretty much waved at all the ships. Pretty much the majority of her life. Are you the new waving girl of Savannah? But they are. It's a very detailed statue. And an impressive story. Yeah. She just wanted to welcome strangers and and bid them farewell on their journey at sea. Oh, pretty cool. Oh, she's going like this. Yeah. Quite quite a story. We've passed the waving girl, but I've never went up and actually looked at the statue and past visits. And uh, it's very detailed and it's an amazing story. And birds got their start here in Savannah. Of course, you can find them in the Great Smoky Mountains and Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg. I'm not sure if this is the original location, but they did get their start here. And we're here at one of our favorite pizza places, Vinnie Van Gogh's. And it is pizza time. All oh, this pizza is amazing, everybody. My original intro uh, to the channel had a great big pizza in it, and this is the place where we got that pizza. And everybody always asks us, where can you get a pizza like that in the Smokies? And I always said, unfortunately, it's here in Savannah. And we're back. It's been many, many years. i uh, talking at least maybe seven, eight years. And this is one of the best pizzas I've had. And I want to see if it's still still the best. I know Sierra loves pizza. Yes. Yes. Let's see how it tastes. The last time we were here, it was excellent. Let's see how it tastes today. It was one of the best pizzas I have ever had, definitely. And I can't wait. If I remember correctly, this pizza is humongous. And they brought out one of these little things. That means it's got to be big. Uh, Dawn is watching the video I shot the other day. We shot the other day. And uh, there's nothing like getting together and having a little pizza. Yeah, so we have the crushed red pepper, garlic, and Parmesan. And we meet again. Look at that. Look at the size of the ham. Mushrooms, pepperoni. And that is a humongous pizza. What do you think of that? That's an amazing... You remember it that way, don't you? Extra large? Yep. No, this large. 
This is just a large pizza here. No, it'll be extra large one. Yeah, most places would be an extra large. And if you remember my old intro, one of the first intros I ever did on our channel, this pizza was featured in it. And it looks the same as it did back almost eight years ago. Eight years ago. Yeah, let's dig in. Go ahead, be be the first one. Go ahead, Sierra, don't be shy. Look at all the cheese. Look at all the meat. I mean, that is an amazing, look at that. Go for it, Sierra. That, and, and this was one of the best pizzas I've ever had. Yeah, I'm, inter I'm I'm kind of curious if it still is. The ham is excellent. Yeah. The ham is really good, right? Yeah. What are you thinking? <laughs> yeah. So look at the bottom. Done perfectly, crispy, and that is a heavy slice. Damn. Yeah. It tastes, it tastes a lot like yes, it your guys' mm -hmm. back when you had pizza places. I was thinking the same thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's all cheesy, isn't it? And this is my favorite pizza when I'm here in this area. Good. Serious, look at that face. <laughs> she likes pizza. Look at this. This tastes just like my dad and mom's pizza growing up. Perfectly done. I mean, look at that. I love it. And that was Vinny Van Gogh's. It was amazing. Yeah, a little little hole in the wall. Sierra's got a bag full of pizza to take back. That pizza is still amazing. The consistency, even after eight years. Oh my goodness. I couldn't stop eating. I was like, two pieces? No, ended up being three pieces. Savannah is an awesome town, especially if you like to, to party. There's a lot of bars. If you like to eat, there's a lot of eateries. If you love history, they have that also. If you're into ghost, well, they got that. There's really not much that Savannah doesn't have. It's a fun, fun town. And there's a dark side to Savannah. They do have some, some stores. And some tattoos. Ghost town tattoo. Hey Dawn, we should get a tattoo. Like a matching tattoo when we like Put our arms together. Twin powers deactivate. See the ghost um, eating a heart? <laughs> it is. It looks like someone's getting a tattoo as we as we speak. Ooh, it's spooky. Crazy, spooky, scary. Hey Sierra, there's a ghost up there. Just saying. A scary one at that. Why do now here's a question I have for everybody out there. Why do ghosts only come out at night? Wouldn't you think, could, could, couldn't they come out in the daytime? I don't know. Right? Yes. I mean, what's, is there, are they I scared? I say the freaks come out at night. <laughs> are they, I, I mean, you wouldn't think ghosts would be scared. You're supposed to be scared of them. I don't know, anyways. And we are back at the Thunderbird. That's the neon all, all lit up. Well, folks, that was our evening in Savannah. The pizza was amazing. And uh, we're going to call it a night because tomorrow we're on our way to Florida. If you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming road trip adventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, everyone.